Well, this was uh, rather interesting. I did some uh, tests with the torpedoes inside the tube and I'll show you the result. The result is this. In both cases the props I made were shattered and I have an idea why this happens. I'll show it to you. When you put your torpedo inside, it starts up and as you know water is non-compressible. So I think that the pressure that is building up is bending the blades of my torpedoes. The torpedoes were, uh, the blades were bent inwards to the torpedo too. It gave me the clue. So what did I do? I got me another set of torpedoes and new blades and uh, let's have a look how those perform in the bath okay both the torps are inside the launcher and let's have a look what happens first I will launch the lower one there she goes. Pretty fast. And then we're going to try. As you can see, five seconds. So that seems to be working. And I also can show you this is the balanced torpedo. It will always will float in this position. So when it hits something with the head, it will go up instead of under. And now just for fun, let's make some on the walk on the water. Let's see how it happens. Sorry for the uh, bad sound uh, after the underwater session. I think the microphone was filled with water. Last procedure is uh, opening up the torps. That can be tricky. Like this. Let's have a look where the soft spot is. It's like this. First. Uh, Undo the lipo and disconnect this one. Let's have a try the second one. Like this. Let's have a look at where it is. This one is uh, going to be nasty. I'll do it later on off camera. So, the launcher works, so the next step will be uh, making the connections right to the, uh, to the submarine itself, and then I can uh, build up the satellite. Until next time! <laughs>